Hello, everyone. I'm Yi Jiazhang from Civil Aviation University of China. The title of the paper is System Business Effect Impact Analysis Method with Crossover Probability Theory. I will introduce the paper in the following aspects. First, I will give an introduction of the paper. Then, I will present our proposed system business effect impact analysis method. It includes cross impact matrix treatment module, and preference train generation and business impact analysis module. Finally, I will discuss the experiments and results and give a conclusion of this paper. Business impact analysis is an essential phase in implementing business continuity programs in organizations. The main objective of conducting BIA is to determine the criticality levels of service that are essential to keep the business up and running. Business impact analysis is used to analyze the system loss caused by business interruption, which is an important link of business continuity management. It is of great significance for the safe operation and emergency management of information system to study the impact analysis of system business functions. The limitation of traditional models lies in that the research object is a scale-free network, which studies the business impact from the perspective of interdependence network. Lack of information system oriented method, the impact and the intensity of other business after the interruption are not considered. In order to solve the shortcomings of traditional net methods, we proposed a method of business impact analysis based on crossover probability theory. The object of the research is the information system, and the method is suitable for direct network. First, the experts evaluate the relevance and influence of the business functions of the information system. The correlation between business functions are represented by cross-impact matrix. Then, use the combination of subjective and objective ways to assign ways to the matrix to reduce the subjective influence of expert scoring on the cross-impact matrix. Quantify the correlation between system business functions and generate a comprehensive cross impact matrix. Finally, a preference chain generation algorithm is used to generate the business preference chain and the interaction rela relationship of each business of the system is associated. On this basis, the influence trend of other businesses after business interruption is obtained by an analyzing the position of interrupted business in preference chain. In order to make the impact degree and trend analysis result more reasonable, we consider the impact and intensity of business function interruption on information system. In this part, I will introduce the cross-impact matrix treatment model. The crossover probability theory is used to, to quantify the relationship between business functions. It uses the cross-impact matrix to store the degree of direct influence between business functions. Business interruption in information system will have an impact on subsequent business. So it is necessary to determine the importance of business functions and the associated uh, impact between business functions through expert scoring to generate cross-impact matrix. Referring to the asset importance grade evaluation and risk grade deviation evaluation, we generated the business importance evaluation table and the interbusiness impact evaluation table. According to these tables, the business importance evaluation matrix and the interbusiness cross impact matrix are generated by expert scoring. Due to the subjective of data of the 
inter-business cross-impact metrics obtained by experts subject to judgment in order to reduce it as much as possible. It is necessary to give reasonable weight to the inner business cross-impact matrix generated by experts evaluation. The weight is calculated by the improved subjective and objective weight combination method. The subjective weight get from the harmonic mean average of the business importance evaluation matrix. The object weight got from entropy weight method from business importance evaluation matrix. To get the objective weight, we are using the entropy weight method. According to the business importance evaluation table, construct the business importance evaluation matrix A. M experts go own businesses. The S experts donate the importance value of the G's business as AIG. Then normalize the business importance evaluation matrix according to Formula 1, where AC max is the maximum value of importance of G's business, and AC mean is the minimum value of importance of G's business. According to the formula 2, we can get the proportion of the S experts to the G's business normalized importance value. Finally, according to the formula 3 and 4, we can get the information entropy and the objective weight. The core of subjective and objective weight combination method is to minimize the sum of scores of deviation between subjective weight and objective weight. According to Formula 5, the combined weight vector Wg of subjective weight W1g and objective weight W2g is obtained, where alpha and beta are combined weighting coefficients. Finally, the linear weight evaluation model is used to obtain the comprehensive evaluation value vector U. The elements in the U correspond to the weight for each expert. According to the comprehensive evaluation value vector, the corresponding weight for experts is multiplied by the interbusiness impact matrix and then calculate the average value of the weighted M matrix to generate a comprehensive cross-impact matrix R. The next part is preference chain generation and business impact analysis. In the information system, the overall impact of a business function on others can represent the impact of its failure on the information system. The sum of the impact of a business on other business is called active sum, which is used to measure the impact of business function interruption on information system. When the business function is invalid or interrupted, the influence on the information system can be measured by analyzing the active sum changes of all business functions of the system. In the comprehensive cross-impact matrix R, each row of the matrix shows the impact degree of the business functions on others. The sum of each row represents the active sum of each business. The preference chain is a chain structure generated by the comprehensive cross-impact matrix which can intuitively express the relevance and the priority between business functions. The preference chain generation algorithm is shown in this page. In short, the entry priority of the business nodes is sorted by active sum, the number of affected business, and the impact value from large to small and selected the first and the largest nodes entering to the chain.
The analysis method of business impact of information system, including the measurement of the impact of business function interruption, and the trend analysis of the impact of business function interruption are others. In the event of information system business interruption, by analyzing the changes of active sum before and after the business interruption, the influence degree of the interruption on the information system can be understood. And the preference chain represents the relationship and the priority among business. Reflect the trend of the influence of business interruption on other businesses of the information system. Next experiment. In this part, I will discuss the experiments and the results. The departure control system of Civil Aviation Airport is selected as the experiment object. It is a large-scale online transaction processing information system for aviation passenger business, which is composed of a flight data control system, checking system, and a load plan planning system. The functional structure and the precise of the system is shown in this page. 20 experts participate in scoring. 20 inter-business cross-impact metrics and one business importance evaluation matrix are generated according to the rules of inter-business impact evaluation, ta evaluation table and the business importance evaluation table. The left is one of the uh, inter-business cross-impact matrix. The right side is business importance evaluation matrix. According to our method, after multi-step calculation, the comprehensive cross-impact matrix R and active sum is obtained. Enter the comprehensive cross-impact matrix into the preference chain generation algorithm. We got a preference chain. First, the algorithm determines the root node. According to the root node, the main chain is generated step by step. After the main chain is determined, branch chains are generated. Finally, we got a preference chain. In the real case of business function interruption of departure control system of Civil Aviation Airport, F6 interruption is caused by F10's interruption. F7's interruption is caused by F6 interruption. And subsequent F4 and F9 business are interrupted one after another. Compared with the preference chain, the interruption of F10 affects F6, F4, and other businesses in the main chain and cause the interruption, while the interruption of F6 business affects F7, F8, and the other business in the branch chain and cause the interruption. It can be seen that the impact results of business interruption obtained by preference chain analysis method are consistent with the real event. So the preference chain analysis method can accurately reflect the influence and trend of other business functions of the information system when the business is interrupted. Taking the comprehensive cause impact matrix, matrix R as the original data, the business function network structure entropy, weighted directed network structure entropy, structure whole importance index, and the active sum in this method of business interruption event are calculated respectively. The change of the impact of business interruption on the information system at each time is shown in right side. As can be seen from the figure, 
the change of structure entropy in the event of business function interruption is similar to that of the active star. This trend accurately reflects the difference in the impact of interruption and recovery of different important business functions on the system. Due to the structure hole importance index cannot adapt to the chain structure change. It cannot accurately express the impact of business interruption on the system. Compared with the active sum, the network structure entropy and direct weighted network structure entropy cannot accurately reflect the impact on the information system. When the business function with high impact is interrupted, therefore, the active sum can more accurately reflect the impact of business function interruption on other businesses in the information system. To sum up, the contribution of this paper are as follows. The method oriented to information system. The business functions of information system were abstracted as nodes and the correlation between business functions was expressed uh, by cross-impact matrix. A comprehensive cross-impact matrix is generated by combining subjective and objective weights to reduce the subjective influence of expert scoring on the cross-impact matrix. Generates the business preference chain by the preference chain generation algorithm represent the relationship and priority among business by the preference chain. That's all. Thanks for your attention.